new. I know I did it in the unboxing, but basically we're gonna do a first impressions of the Artisan Casiador. It's a nice little thin folder. Uh, this is a delicate kind of cool little folder. So without any further ado, you guys know what time it is. Here comes a little bit of music. Explore with us. Um, I've been following this channel for a long time. They've changed the way their content used to be. It used to be that they would go out in the woods, or I'm sorry, out in the desert, and they would find abandoned places and go explore them and abandoned houses that were way out in the desert. Uh, but the, the whole the Iwu crew thing, it's changed a little bit. But now what they do is um, they do kind of the unsolved mysteries kind of thing. Um, I don't like that content as much as I used to like when they would just go out into the desert and find unabandoned houses and things like that. They did urban exploring, only it wasn't urban, it was rural. So anyway, this is the Artisan Casiador. It's a nice little flipper that is kind of uniquely shaped. It's actually, I've come to really appreciate the way it feels in hand. So we're gonna just do a quick first impressions. We'll take a look at it from above. There's not gonna be specs, there's not gonna be a weight, there's not gonna be any prices. This is just out of box, first time in pocket. Well, maybe second time in pocket. And uh, I'm gonna carry this for a while and then we'll get to a full review later on uh, here in a week or so. But this is going to be a giveaway knife to you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Hi guys, this is the Artisan Cosidor we're gonna look at today. This came in from Russell over at CRG, CJRB and Artisan. This is going to be a giveaway on the channel. This is a nice little narrow folder, nice and thin, nice profile overall, does not take up a lot of space. Flipper tab is a little large, but it's not bad in hand. It feels really good. So you're looking at kind of a Warren Cliff style blade, nice and thin behind the edge, even though it's not very broad, they did a really good job grinding that down fairly thin behind the edge. Uh, these are the, the Jade G10 um, scales, and it gives it a good look. It is a liner lock, and there's not much to say about it. It's a really nice looking knife. I'm really happy they sent it. This is definitely a titanium pocket clip. Um, it is in a RRPM9 steel. Uh, I just finished shooting the Gracioso video. Um, so this is ARRPM9. And guys, these aren't serial numbers. I, I wanted to point this out. Somebody asked me about serial number. Uh, they were like, wow, they serialize this stuff. That's actually a model number. So if you were to look that up, that's the model number, the 18, uh, what is that? The 1848P. That's the model number that you'd be looking up for this specific knife. Um, I know it can confuse a lot of people. I only have one thing really to say about it that I'm not a fan of is I wish they had sculpted this down a little lower because with my big my big meaty paws of mine I, I find it a little bit difficult to disengage the liner lock it's not horrible and if you've got smaller hands than me it probably is no problem at all it's not hard it just I, I have to try a little harder than I would like I would have liked to have seen that scalloped out just a little bit further but then I think that would detract from the way the knife feels which overall is super comfortable in hand um, it does have a unique look. It does look like, so it's named a Cosidor. So if you guys remember, um, you remember guys, Fallout New Vegas, the Great Big Wasps, wasps the Cosidor. It does have that insectile type of appearance and the fit and finish on this is done really nicely. Really, really nicely, really well done. So. Yeah, guys, that's about it. First impressions on it. I have cut a little bit with it. It is aggressively sharp. It is aggressively sharp, and I cleaned it up before the video, but I did do a little bit of cardboard cutting. I'm trying not to do too much with this because, like I said, this is slated as a giveaway for you guys that are paying members. So not much else to say about it. It seems to cut well. It's pretty comfortable in hand. When I first got it, I was afraid that I wouldn't like it. Oh, I wanted to point this out. I love this backspacer. The the neutral, to, you know, using the same color G10, but then you have a spot for a lanyard that's not detracted from. This is a really narrow knife back here. The handle is really narrow right here. And if you had put a lanyard hole in it, 
it would have really detracted from it. So instead of that, they added it to the backspacer. I've seen a few knives that are like that um, from some of these companies, and I like that. It gives you guys that like lanyards an option, and it gives the guys like me that think lanyard holes make, you know, make the knife uglier. I mean, it, it's kind of the best of both worlds. So you guys get your lanyard hole, and we get a nice, clean scale with no hole in it. So, yep, guys, let's turn this back around and do some final thoughts. Before we get into the final thoughts, I just want to remind everyone there is a link to a GoFundMe to benefit Jeff over at Tough Thumbs at Tough Knives. Uh, he had his entire shop flooded out. I started a GoFundMe the other day. We did talk about it in a live feed. Jim Skelton has helped publicize it. I'm going to keep talking about it until until we either get to a point where it's not making any more money or we hit our goal. Well, that's it's a lofty goal, but we'll see. So yeah, this is this is a fun little knife. Um, this is a knife that I could see my wife carrying. Uh, I don't have too many issues with this knife. The action on is pretty good. It is attractive the way it's done. So yeah, we're going to have to see how it carries and all that stuff. I'll do some light cutting with it because I don't want to tear this knife up because like I said, it is a gift to you guys, the paying members, which is a segue into supporting the channels you love. I like to put channels up and I send you guys their direction to get them views and likes and things like that. If you want to support my channel, there are multiple ways you can do it. It's as simple as sharing the videos with people you would think would like the content. But I do have membership tabs and things down below where you can get in on exclusive giveaways, exclusive content. Baseline and premium tier members both get into the exclusive giveaways. Premium tier members get exclusive content. B-roll sharpening tutorial. I know that I haven't been doing a lot with that, but it's hard to film some of the stuff that I really want to do until I figure out a way to get a gooseneck tripod of some sorts. So... Um, if you can't do that, there's affiliate links down below that gets you to Amazon for a lot of the items that I talk about, any of the items I use for tools. I've duplicated them as best I can in the affiliate links. And if you want to simply buy merch, I have a merchandise store link. There's also a link to Ember Shirt Co. Both of those sites are through the same company. And if you use my code, Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, all one word, Crazy Sharp, you save 10% at checkout. So. All of those are ways you can support the channels. And if you just like a specific video, I'm sorry I meant to mention it, there's something called Super Like, where you can just basically donate money to a specific video, like, hey, good job on that video. So, um, yeah, and don't forget, we are doing the podcast. It's not going to be a three-day week thing anymore. It's probably going to be one day, maybe two days a week. So that's it, guys. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments. It makes it much easier to moderate, and I will see you in the next video.